got five points in three games. Better start than last year, right? Yeah, a little lot. Yeah, if we if you would have, uh, you know, like I said the other night, uh, if you would have been able to sign up for three points after the first weekend, I would have taken it. Um, and now f five points after three games, we're, you know, we're, we're very excited about where we are in the standings. And it's even even more, I guess, if you know, can bank on, uh, you know, the positivity. I, I just I don't even think we've come close to playing our, our best hockey or what, what we can in that room. And so, um, you know, we've got we've got some bases we got to cover here before we go into a really stingy Bakersfield team on Friday night. And, and then uh, there's going to be a, another another big battle on Saturday against San Diego. So, um, you know, there's but we definitely have some things to shore up. Atmosphere is a team you didn't play last year, and they're a team that didn't exist last year. Yeah. Well, they did, but not as. Abbotsford, uh, any challenge in facing a team you've never seen before back to back in? Well, it's, it's interesting that they haven't changed much since I saw them in Rochester. So Travis Green was the coach then for uh, for Utica, uh, and since he's taken over with Vancouver, uh, Utica hasn't lost their identity one bit. They're a tenacious, forechecking team. They run too hard in every scenario, uh, two forwards hard on every forecheck, and they're they're diligent and determined in the in the trenches and so it's a very it's a, it's a huge matchup for us because I think that's probably the area where a lot of people have questions about our, our group whether it's young guys if they're ready to play on the walls and go to the net front or whether it's uh, you know just our, our, our lineup in general if we're if we're determined enough to, to play in those hard areas and if we if we show the courage and the uh, willingness and also the ability to, to be real good in the trenches and along the walls at the net then our skill will open up on the line rush too but I thought we um, we got off to a really fast start in that area, and then I don't know if it was a mental uh, break that we decided to take, or if it was just kind of the flow of the game. Uh, but we we lost our our diligence, and I thought that that uh, that Abbotsford played a, played a great game, uh, really gritty and, and tough to play against. Last year, you expressed a little bit of concern about your team's uh, play with the goalie pulled six on five to pick up the goal tonight. Would you like about that shift? Yeah, I, you know it was it was uh, interesting you bring that up because. I felt like last year we covered almost every base you could on pulling the goalie because we were down so so often. We were always in the game, you know, which was which was a credit to our young guys, scrap, scratch and clawing. Uh, but we were almost inevitably, you know, in the spot where we had to pull our goalie. So we got really good at it last year, like our timing and our kind of our our confidence. And while we, you know, we I wouldn't I don't know if I was uh, ultimately frustrated going back to last season because we did get two. Like Akil Thomas scored. Uh, three extra attacker goals in one or two extra attacker goals in one game uh he scored another one uh, at home the one that went off his uh, after he blocked a shot with his face so uh, we got one there so I, I wouldn't say that you know we were i thought we were actually pretty good with the with the goalie out last year and it's something uh you know i think it, it, we timed it again pretty good today so craig and i looked at each other and said let's get him out there and it worked out the team's been sticking up for themselves and, and their teammates through three games after the overtime goal, I never noticed this before, but uh, all the defensemen went to Manny Vallelta and all the forwards went to Martin Furk. What can you say about the locker room? It, it, yeah, that's that's they're a bunch of great guys. So we'll we'll continue to cultivate them. Uh, it's the th third game that they played together, and while uh, yeah, as I mentioned, I'm not ultimately happy with kind of our process to get to where we are. Um, I don't think I will ever really be content with that, anyways. But. Um, I do, I do, you know, truly believe in each of the players and what they can bring, and it's our job to, to make make them a collection and not not uh, not just a bunch of individuals, you know. So it's it's something that we'll we'll just continue to to attack and uh, continue to foster, and uh, you know, we got great leadership in the room too, which will which will help breed breed that positivity and that continuity. Last question.